where we're at right now is a really cool deal. It's a point of a major creek on the river. And, uh, you know, it's really close to where uh, a lot of the fish were released. And it's also an excellent summertime area um, where these fish can feed up on, on these primary points off of these creeks. So we're getting kind of a double whammy going on here where we could potentially, you know, we're catching fish that are in the correct seasonal pattern or we're fishing for fish that this season, will, you know, would feed on this type of habitat. And this type of area also could collect uh, what we call retreads, the releases uh, that were freshly released from Delaware River Tournament. A lot of fish were caught out of this river during the tournament, and uh, it's weird out. You know, fish are like, you know, to me, they seem like salmon sometimes. You know, they're they're imprinted with, uh, you know, where they live, where they were, you know, where they spawn, and that type of stuff. And they they just naturally find their way back to it. So this would be a cool. This would be a route that they're going to have to go through to get back up into this creek. Hopefully, we can pick a few off up in here. You know, uh, using light fluorocarbon, 8, 10, 12 pound fluorocarbon, uh, I prefer a knot called an improved clinch knot. Real easy knot to tie. It's great on fluorocarbon because there's not as much burn as some of the other knots. And basically you're just going to go through the eye of the bait and you're going to wrap it six to eight times around itself. And then once you do that, if you look down there, you're going to create a loop. And you're going to bring that tag in back through that loop. Now when you do that, if you notice, your index finger is through another loop, a bigger loop, and all I do is double back, and that's where that word improved comes from. Grab the line, wet it, cinch it down, cut off your tag end, and you've got a great knot for light fluorocarbon. There's one. Oh, big one. Stay down, stay down. Don't, don't, don't do that. God, nice one. It's a nice tidal fish. Look at that. That's how you want them hooked right there. Isn't that a great view of how you want them hooked? That's awesome. Both sets Front of hooks. Hook inside the mouth. Nice tidal river fish, Delaware River, about a two pound fish. Definitely know you're throwing the right crankbait, right vibration, right color when you have them double hooked like that. One in the head, one in the mouth. Once again, look at that bait. Real key bait on tidal rivers for me. Key bait for me last week when I fished the tournament and also today. That's the Rappala DT Thug. A lot of DTs, but look at that one with that bent lip. And that's to help it get down quicker and have a wider vibration in traditional DT series. The other thing on that deal, look at that color. That's one of the Ike's custom ink colors. That's a color we call old school, and it was actually based <laughs> off a lot of the old crankbaits that we would throw out here in these tidal rivers. It's, awesome. it's a faded, almost yellow chartreuse, little bit of orange in the throat, and then you've got that gold metal flake in that black back. Sick, sick tidal river color. And there it goes. Nice Delaware River bass, look at that thing. Oh, and I just noticed something. What do you got? Release? Easy. Look at that. There's a good look when you catch a fish. Anytime you see a, there's a hole in the bottom of his mouth. That's I didn't have him hooked there. That'll tell you that that's a, a retread. And this is we're right near a release area, so that very well could be a re release fish right there. You know the gear that I'm using to throw this DT thug in old school. Uh, really important to the whole equation. And this is a composite rod. This rod's actually glass and graphite mixed together. And this is one of the brand new Ike series cranking rods by Abu Garcia. Uh, Tackle Warehouse is gonna have it real soon, so keep your eyes out for it. Um, it's a seven foot rod and it's very parabolic. Because of that fiberglass and graphite mix, it's very soft. The reel, this is an Abu Garcia Revo Premier bait casting reel in a little bit slower gear ratio. It's a six, four to one. When I'm cranking, I like to slow it down a little bit. I want more power than I do speed. And then the line, uh, it's Berkeley 100% uh, trilene fluorocarbon in 12 pound test. 12 pounds perfect for getting maximum action out of that thug and letting it uh, deflect off those rocks. Perfect combination when you're cranking out here on the river. Look at this, look at this, another retread. Small mouth, small mouth, small mouth. Look at this. 
Wow. Multi-species today on the river, <laughs> man. That's pretty awesome seeing smallmouth out here. We typically, we get these smallmouth associated with the upper end of the rivers towards Trenton. And this guy's not like, letting me go. And, uh, but it's nice, we're starting to see a lot of fish out here on the main river. And this is a little smallmouth. I thought he was a striper. But he hit that storm wiggle wart. And uh, again, another great uh, crankbait for the river. It's, uh, you know, it's that wide wobbly nature of the bait. It gets down deep. It deflects off cover really good. Caught a nice little smallmouth just now. Let's let him go. Retread two in it. I think he might be. I see the seal. Yeah, you can see this Look fish this. has been caught. This fish was weighed in. See this? Yeah, this is another re this is another fish that just came out of the release boat. Uh, Yo, you may want to tell Richie about this, man. <laughs> All right. Crank it. We just picked up a couple crankbait fish. This is my crankbait gear. And um, you know, I'm using a Denali custom crankbait, seven foot medium heavy action crankbait rod. It's a dynamite rod uh, for throwing those medium to shallow running crankbaits and it works extremely well with the wiggle wart uh, as we just saw. And uh, now Mike caught some fish on a color called old school. I've got a reel here <laughs> that's a little bit old school. This is an old Shimano MG. I love it, super light. It's 6.1 to one gear ratio. It's just a, it's a really nice light combination that I, that I really like to uh, crankbait fish with. And, um, and I'm using Gamma Line. I'm using Gamma Edge fluorocarbon 12 pound test. Um, it's, it's a big deal. I tell you one thing that I really like to use a lot when I'm cranking is, is a snap. Now, um, a, a lot of times on the wiggle ward, I'll use a snap uh, attached directly to it. You got to, but I use it in all my crankbait fishing and here's why. It allows me to be very, very versatile. I can change depths, uh, actions, colors in an instant. I can have my crankbait box right on the deck of my boat, but by using a snap, it makes me such a versatile crankbait angler. So check it out. I highly recommend using the snap, but that's my shallow cranking equipment right here on Bass University TV and Tackle Warehouse. Hey, Tackle Warehouse fans. Mike Gaikinelli back out here with Pete Glusick on the Delaware River. I want to talk to you about another bait that's amazing on rivers and tidal rivers, and that's a spinner bait. Uh, and I want to talk to you a little bit about this particular bait and this color. This is a Mullix Vetinator spinner bait. It's a half ounce, but this is in one of the new Ike's custom colors. And if you look at it, this is a color we call Purple Sensei, and it's a really special color on tidal rivers like the Delaware. You know, the reason being is they're feeding on a lot of shad, a lot of white perch and white bass out here. And all three of those forage species has that purplish kind of sheen to it, that purplish shine. So we've got elements of purple in there. And then one of the other things, colored blades, especially in a situation like we have here, incoming water, dirty water, water that's off colored, those colored blades, in this case, solid white blades, can make a big difference in those fish finding the bait. If you like the fish tidal waters, if you like the fish rivers and you want to match the forage, Try one of those new Mullock spinner baits in the Ike custom colors. You're going to catch some more fish. You know, fishing a spinner bait, man, there's a lot of really neat tricks to it. You know, the one is in the retrieve, and a lot of people just burn a spinner bait back. One of the, the retrieves I really like, especially in off color water, is what I call jerking a spinner bait. And I'm actually letting it get low and just pop my rod a couple times, letting it sink back down. It's a lot like jigging a spoon. Every time you do that, those blades flutter, those blades flash, and then when you click your reel back around, they'll rotate again. So it's a real key retrieve. You know, on the rod and reel and line, super important too to, to this combination. Uh, the rod, this is one of those new Abu Garcia Ike series rods. It's a seven foot medium action. I like a little bit of tip when I'm fishing a spinnerbait. The reel, this is the Abu Garcia MGX. It's a seven to one gear ratio. And finally, the line, you know, uh, without a doubt, the Berkeley Trilene, 100% fluorocarbon. Uh, this is in 15 pound. Let's that bait get maximum action. Let's it really work and let's those blades vibrate. Uh, definitely a complete package. Just like in the Derby, dude. Yeah. I can see now why, you know, because I was freaking out when Mike wasn't catching them on places. I'm like, there, there'll be five or 10 bass on them places most times, you know, or certain times of year, this time of year, and he get one. 
or none. I'm like, man, he must not be fishing good. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I reek, man. We just finished the day recapping the Delaware River. Man, what a day, dude. It was awesome. It was a great win. One of the greatest wins of all time. The greatest fans of all time here on the Delaware River. It's great to spend the day out here recapping it with you. It was awesome. I got chills out there, man. Uh, you know, the, the fishing was amazing. We got to showcase our river. Mm -hmm. And I owe a lot to you, so I appreciate all your mentoring over the years on this river. It's pretty awesome. Well, it's kind of you to say that. I appreciate, I appreciate your friendship. And it was great to watch you follow through and close it out when all the all the people were watching. It was pretty pretty good deal. It was awesome. Keep your eye out on Tackle Warehouse for all the vlogs we filmed on this river. You're going to see some tricks from me and Pete. Also, go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page, like it, share it, and you're going to have a chance to win all the tackle you've seen used here today by me and Pete. See you soon. You could have a chance to win all this great gear that you see. All you need to do is go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page and click on the gear giveaway tab at the top of the page. And this is the new Rapala Scatter Wrap Shallow. And if you look at it, it's that same Scatter Wrap from last year. You see the lip, but it's got a smaller bill on it. It's perfect for that one to three foot zone. First fish of the day, Upper Bay, Susquehanna Flats. Super dirty water, big heavy rain, super flood tide, man.